Hey everyone and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. We are back with the brand new Anycubic Cobra S1. If you saw my first video about the S1, you'll know that this printer produces a lot of poop. This is wasted filament used to flush out the old filament when switching between colors in a multicolored print. You want to make sure that the new color isn't mixing with the old color, so your colors are crisp and vibrant. In my first video, we saw that Anycubic set the default flush amount pretty high. This two-color 3D Benchy weighs 10.9 grams, but produced an astonishing 183 grams grams of poop. Anycubic wants to make sure that no colors mix, not even in the worst case scenario of a heavily pigmented black switching to a light color like white, but that produces a lot of wasted material. Thankfully, Anycubic allows us to change that flushing amount in the S1's menu, so I'm going to run some experiments, see how changing the flushing volume changes the amount of poop, and see how low we can go and still get good results with minimal waste. So this is the model that we're going to print, a red and white calibration cube. One thing to note is that you cannot change the flushing amount in the slice it can only be adjusted through the printer's touchscreen. What this means is that I'm going to slice the file once, and then print the same G-code multiple times with different flushing amounts. There are exactly 100 filament changes for this model. Because the slicer isn't aware of the flush amounts, it doesn't show us how much filament is wasted. We see 9.04 grams total filaments, but that's only the model and the purge tower. No poop. However, the slicer does try to account for the time taken for flushing. We see that the flush time is 4 hours and 38 minutes, and the print time is 23 minutes and 55 seconds. This is controlled by a setting called the filament load time under the printer's print end menu. We see by default, Anycubic has timed the S1's filament switch to take 126.423 seconds. If we decrease the flush amount, we could calculate the new load time and update this value to get a more accurate time estimation. So with the file sliced, let's get to printing. I'm going to switch between the Sunlu red PLA and Sunlu white PLA. Thank you Sunlu for providing the filament to use for my testing. If you are interested in high quality filament, check out Sunlu. They have a large variety of materials and colors, and are sure to have just the right filament for your next project. I found that the red pigment tends to be pretty sticky, and switching to white should make it easy to see if colors are mixing. When a print is running, you can click on the Ace Pro menu to see the flush volume setting. It defaults to 1.5, but it can be adjusted between 0.1 and 3.0. With the default 1.5 flush volume, this print took 5 hours, 9 minutes, and 42 seconds, and it produced a large amount of poop. It filled up this entire container. So let's restart this print, but change the flush volume to 1.0. After printing, we see that it only took 4 hours, 37 minutes, and 24 seconds. That's a difference of 32 minutes, pretty substantial. The amount of poop looks noticeably smaller in the container. Finally, let's lower that flush volume again, down to 0.5. One thing I noticed is that this lower flush volume, I had two instances where poop was flung into the print bed instead of going down the chute. I guess if it isn't heavy enough, sometimes it's not ejected properly. But otherwise, all three cubes printed successfully. The 0.5 flush volume printed in 4 hours, 5 minutes, 58 seconds. Another 32 minute decrease from before. And there is a lot less poop in the container. So let's take a look at all that wasted filament. On the left we had 1.5, middle is 1.0, and on the right is 0.5. And we can notice a few things. First is the size of the pile. The default 1.5 pile is substantially larger than the 0.5 pile, as expected. But we can also notice a color difference. In the 1.5 pile, there are blobs of pure color in there, with many pure whites and pure red blobs. Moving into the middle 1.0 pile, we can still see pure colored blobs, but there are way fewer. Going to the 0.5 pile, I don't see any pure color blobs. And we can see all the blobs here are mixed color, and the color hasn't stabilized by the end of it. That's not a good sign. What this indicates is that at the default 1.5 flush volume, the Cobra S1 will produce multiple poop blobs for each filament change, flushing two or three times with each switch, producing a mixed blob and then a few single colored blobs. Moving down to 1.0, it will flush twice, with a mixed blob and a single colored blob. By the time we get down to the 0.5 flush volume, the S1 is just flushing once and moving on. And now we need to look at the prints themselves. The default 1.5 looks great, as expected. No color mixing, a pure red and white color, and a just great looking cube. The 1.0 cube looks exactly the same. I don't see any color mixing, and the colors looks just as clean to me. However, when you get to the 0.5 cube, that changes. The colors are obviously mixed, and the white has turned slightly pink. It's easier to compare when we see all three cubes side by side. The last cube is off-colored. While I don't see the red being affected, there just wasn't enough purge when switching to the white. So now let's bag and weigh them. First, a quick check that all the cubes are 4.2 grams. 
Now with the default 1.5 flush volume, there is 108.3 grams of wasted filament. The 1.0 setting produced 77.5 grams of waste. And finally, the 0.5 produced 45.1 grams of waste. And this is very interesting. Switching from 1.5 to 1.0 decreased waste by almost 30% and saved 32 minutes of print time. And the prints look exactly the same. You can go lower than that, but then you risk mixing filament colors. I think that for most filaments, starting with a flushing volume of 1.0 would be the way to go. And just like medical issues, you can inspect the poop to see if you need to make any changes. For lightly colored filaments, you could decrease that volume a bit further, or bump it up if you are printing with blacks or silk filament. And this also means that we can calculate a new filament load time for the slicer for the 1.0 setting. We saved 32 minutes on 100 filament changes, so that means that we saved 19.2 seconds per change. This drops the filament load time down to 107.223 seconds. And using that, we see an estimated time of 4 hours and 37 minutes, exactly the time it took us to print it. Awesome! Math works! So, thank you all for watching. I hope you have a better understanding of how the Anycubic Cobra S1's flush volume works. If you have any tips or tricks for optimizing poop, let me know in the comments below. And I have a number of upcoming projects and reviews, including my full Cobra S1 and Ace Pro review, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.